receive such lies, destructive teachings from the pit of hell. Naraga kuli lirun the mele lumi vandar ikkure, alivu kedu vane, vanjagamana inda poye, yepadi taan vishwasamakkalal ukkarudu, kekkamudi ganadho puriya villai. These are heretical teachings that have crept in very subtly into the body of Christ today. Indraya Christu vin sarathu kul maha thandara vanjagamaya nulindu vittu thavarana durrubavesa podhanaikali vayikal. That is why the Lord Jesus warned concerning the last days. Now what does that mean? The false prophetic teaching that goes around today saying all are included, inclusive people. in the super hyper grace of god i'm sure if you have heard of the teaching called hyper grace now the hyper grace teaching goes like this when the lord jesus died on the cross all your past sins your present sins and all your future sins all forgiven which means if you commit a sin okay, let's say you accepted christ 5 years ago So five years ago, on the day you accepted the Lord, all your future sins, let's say you live for another 20 years after that, all the sins that you will commit in the future have already been forgiven. So no matter how much you sin, you don't have to repent anymore. You don't have to, because you already repented on that day when you accepted the Lord. This is number one. Number two, so this God of grace does not send anybody to hell so therefore a hindu a buddhist a muslim or an atheist they are all a part of this kingdom of god whether you accept christ or you don't accept christ will all ultimately go to heaven this is spiritual fornication friendship with the world you are embracing everybody You know, during the last term of President Obama, he came to one church in California. And before he came to the church, the church was ordered that when he comes to the church, there should not be any Christian symbol in the church. Everything should be covered up. This is one big mega church in California. So the church complied. They had a big cross like that. They threw a rock and covered the cloth. And then they had pictures, scripture verses all over. They threw rocks and curtains and they covered everything for Mr. Obama to come. So what have we done? That, now forget about the cross being a wood. It's not just a wood, it's a symbol of the sacrifice of the Lord and the love of God. Now to throw a rug to cover that, you are saying this love of God or the truth of God is lesser important than the king of the land. Who obviously was of a different faith. So because he stepped into a church, he said, no, it should not be a church, it should be just an auditorium. Once you covered the, all the Christian symbols out, it's just an auditorium so why did we compromise you tell me why suppose mr obama enters into a hindu temple do you think the hindus would have covered all their idols no they'll say go to hell we don't need you in our temple go am i right so why then did we compromise this shows what is inside us we don't really believe what we are confessing that's the real thing you are not who you really are you are just pretending to be christians we are just pretenders to be followers of god because we don't keep the commandments of god we don't have the faith of the lord jesus we don't have the testimony of the lord jesus any false teachers 
false prophets gone into the world who is causing great devious teachings in the body of Christ. ஏற்கனவே கிறிஸ்துவின் சரத்துக்குள் நினைத்து பார்க்க முடியாத கொடிதான வஞ்சக போதனைகளை கட்டவிழ்த்து விட்டு கொண்டிருக்கும் अनेक கள்ள போதர்கள் தீர்க்கதரிசிகள் மலிந்து வளமந்து வருகிறார். Look at the call of the apostle Paul in Acts chapter 9 verse 15 and 16 says he has been chosen by me to suffer for me no today's charismatic churches or the gospel of in the midst of the gospel of prosperity and now you have the gospel of hyper grace they don't believe in sufferings anymore they all believe that in the sweet by and by will all be living happily ever after but that's not what the gospel bible teaches you know all those who live godly in christ jesus shall suffer persecution so if you are not suffering persecution it means you are not living godly period amen, amen. isn't it simple it is self explanatory you don't need any explanation for all that Paul the apostle Paul was purposely chosen destined by God to bear the name of God before kings before governors before gentiles and also to suffer for his sake so this even the sufferings that the apostle Paul went through were part of his call